Italian physicist Daniela Comelli is a world leader in analyzing the metals of ancient objects. She's been working on a new method that could confirm whether the iron of the dagger came from a meteorite or from Earth, without harming it in any way. With the development of portable X-ray for us, a spectrometer, there was this huge technological advance. The devices now are very small and very lightweight, so that they can be easily transported on site to analyze different types of artworks and findings. This technology was a breakthrough in investigating ancient objects and was about to be turned onto Tutankhamun's dagger. It uses X-rays to excite the atoms that make up an object. The atoms then emit radiation that allows researchers to confirm exactly which chemical element is present and the different proportions of each. There is a difference between terrestrial and extraterrestrial iron in terms of chemical composition because they are obviously both made of iron, but in extraterrestrial iron, there, there is a higher amount of nickel and cobalt. This is a clear clue that the piece of iron is meteoritic iron. Daniela traveled to the Cairo Museum in Egypt with her X-ray spectroscope and teamed up with Abdul Razak as part of a joint Egyptian-Italian group. We were really keen to unlock the mystery of this, of this plate, and uh, we were not really sure about well, if, if the plate will be made of meteorite or not, because we don't have any kind of, of, of accurate investigation conducted before. It was really excited to analyze such an ancient and precious archaeological finding. Really, really fascinating. Using the state-of-art X-ray fluorescence with high energy resolution detector, we started to collect the data. If the iron blade contained less than 5% nickel, it would mean it was from Earth, and the Iron Age began centuries earlier than historians assumed. More than 5% nickel, and if the element cobalt was also found, then the dagger had to be from outer space. Either result would be astonishing. In my heart, personally, I was really willing to find the meteorite's origin. But as a researcher, I have to follow the scientific criteria. The beam of the X-ray spectroscope was aimed at the dagger. Almost immediately, we realized that beside iron, there was some nickel, but also that there were traces of cobalt. So it was very exciting. But there was still more analysis to be done. Everyone was watching. We have some diplomatic people with us. Even the audience visiting the museum were around us. The analysis revealed the blade had over 10% nickel, way more than the 5% cutoff point. Trace amounts of cobalt confirmed what everyone suspected. Tutankhamun's dagger had come from outer space. <laughs>